There's a high school student by the name of Nicole Savario, and her father went through her room, and he ended up finding a diary, a shotgun, and bomb-making material, so much so that he had ended up turning her in to the police. Let's go roll the clip. It was after reading his daughter's diary that he called the school to tell them he feared his daughter was planning a mass shooting at Catoctin High School in Frederick County. The sheriff's office investigators determined early on that Nicole posed a threat not only to the school, the student body, but herself also. At Nicole Savarios' home, police found a 12-gauge shotgun, ammunition, and material to build pipe bombs. Everything she purchased was legal. They were legal purchases. The shotgun, the ammunition, the fireworks, the hardware, the, the pieces of pipe to construct the, bomb, to construct the bombs, everything that she did was within the law. Sheriff Charles Jenkins, who lives near Catoctin High, said while it must have been a tough decision for the father to turn his daughter in, that decision saved lives. I mean, just imagine if it were your 18-year-old daughter knowing what the ramifications were to go out and tell authorities that your, your child's planning on carrying out something like this. I mean, you have to really weigh into the conscience on that. Vario is an honor student at Catoctin High. She had never had any trouble with police or school officials until this. We felt this was going to be carried out. There is no doubt in our minds that we averted a disaster up there. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest with you. So you can imagine as a parent finding all that stuff in your child's room and then reading a diary that had a detailed events how she was going to do it. She had a certain date planned in April. She had the emergency procedures of the school written down to the T. She had the movements of the police officer that's in their school all the way down to the T. I mean, she was really planning out her terrorist act with the shotgun, with all the pipe bombs and everything else that she was making. And what doesn't make any kind of sense is that she wasn't a troublemaker. She got a dawn roll. And yet this was, she was planning to do for over a year. Now, I don't understand why they put her in a mental hospital at first, because everything she was doing, it sounded like she were very sane to me, to be cold and calculated like that. Just a few questions that I have is, number one, how do you go from an honor student to wanting to be a terrorist? I don't understand that one. Second of all, how did you get all the money to buy this stuff? Because you went out and bought it. I mean, what were you doing? Looking at the internet? Were you watching uh, videos that promote that sort of thing to do? to learn how to make, you know, pipe bombs and other things like that. I mean, this is something that's really crazy. And then when it comes to the thumbnail, cause I was trying to look for her picture. Um, they hit it very well, but shout out to Illinois nation and Tariq Nasheed. They found it. Um, when I had ended up seeing it on Google, because you know, when it's anybody else, they put out their picture, but when it's others, they want to conceal. Uh, pictures and that's not right. We should all be equal. If you're committing crimes, uh, especially something that heinous, everybody needs to know who you are. Um, I had someone come to my Facebook page and they was kind of bothered. I called James Jackson, the one that had uh, murdered the brother, a terrorist. And um, my position on that is if you're doing terrorist things, I'm gonna call you a terrorist. I don't care about nobody's color. I believe in true equality and the way we're treated. That's the way we're going to treat everybody else, at least here. But with this situation, I know the kids at school, the administrators, the teachers have a sigh of relief because she was going to do a lot of damage. And I don't understand what is this affinity with being a terrorist and harming people. I don't know, but you always better pray for your kids, parents, when they go out to school, like the old people say, and, and keep a hedge of protection around them because you never know if they're walking around with the next potential terrorists in their midst. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for more news stories.